This is what a Sunday morning looks like on campus. Good morning, people. As you can see, I'm not in my room this time. And um reason for that is because I'm heading to church right now. I think I might be running a bit late, but um, I think I should be alright. But yeah, so, as I was saying, there's just nobody here. Peaceful, empty streets on campus. Which is good. I don't know. I like peace and quiet sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Probably need to get some cough sweets or something, you know? Don't really want to rely too much on medicine, until, unless it's like, really severe, you know, like, like, lost an arm or something and it hurts kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, other than that really, just heading to church, see the beloved God. And so the church service ended. Gospel reading was Mark, and um, talked about how as uh, Jesus was journeying to Jerusalem, a young rich man approached him and asked him what do I need to inherit eternal life to which God replied do you follow the commandments do you follow this? he named out six commandments and which the man replied he said yes I follow all of them ever since I was boy because of that Jesus says he loves him however he says he lacks one thing which is that he should sell all that he has, all his riches, and come follow him. And to which the old the man replied, he said, "Well, he didn't reply actually. He was just he just looked. He felt very sad and just walked away from God." <laughs> Later, Jesus mentioned that it is hard for the rich to come into the kingdom of God. However, as a man it is impossible, but with God all is possible. So what does that mean? Well, in God we trust. Only in God can all things be possible. And it just made me think more of <clears throat> more of how wonderful God is really. And how He's capable of doing anything. You just have to believe in Him, you know? Like for the rich to give, why wouldn't they give everything up for him? Well, because they believe more in their riches, their wealth, than in God. Of course, obviously, they don't literally mean give away and be, live on the street and be poor. It's just what are the first three commandments. What do they say? You now they say there is no other gods before him. He also says that love thy neighbor as thyself. And another one which I can't remember, <laughs> but the whole point is, it's about loving God first. God is the number one priority. Put God in first, because you know, in first priority. And that's what I've been trying to do. You know, yeah. Obviously, we have to survive. We have to live in this world. We need money and all that. But I don't know about you guys, but I just. As a Christian, I just leave everything to God, you know? I just literally just... Everything in His hands. Money, whether I'm going to get a job or not. Yes, when the time comes, I'll definitely grab the opportunity. But for the most part, I just leave it all to God, you know? Anyway, I'm headed to the... Um, not sure, Aldi? I'll definitely need to go to the pharmacy to get some cough, uh, med cough medicine. No, I'm going to get some cough sweets. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna head over there, buy some stuff, and then head back home to see what's up at home. And it's time for lunch. So today I made homemade spaghetti. Yes, well, I did make the sauce myself, it's homemade. And yeah, so basically spaghetti, cheese, and the bolognese, beef bolognese. And that's what it looks like. Munching time. Preparation for our roast. We're gonna have a roast dinner tonight. 
preparation phase. We have uh, three of our housemates here. The rest are still not back yet. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have good roast dinner. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Let's go check on the progress. How's the progress? Okay. What we got? We got some chicken. Ooh, looks good. Have we got the chicken in the oven or what's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, we're 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 oh. for the parsnips and stuff. Oh, the parsnips. You I thought the shops are closed. Oh, no, the Tesco's open, yeah? Oh, well, Tesco's 24-7 anyway. Oh, do yeah. it? Oh! Wow. Oh. I don't know if that's a little bit Oh, Adam. Oh, sweet. Oh, should, should we tell Tiff? Or? Yeah, um, it's really cool. Well, she's, she's probably, she's already bought she's probably already bought them now. So you got the carrots with seasoning. I'll tell you what, what Simon, the <coughs> what? Uh, we'll give to you. What's inside that? Yeah, that's um. Awesome. So is that a chicken? It? Adam? Is What's inside that? that? Chicken's in there, covered in salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Nothing. Mm. Nothing spectacular. Potatoes? Are we gonna do the potatoes? Yeah, yeah we got uh, potatoes. potatoes. Cool. We got some veg, chicken, potatoes, and we got gravy. Is it thick? Yeah, really thick. Hell yeah. Amy's doing the Yorkshire pudding. I'm all stopped, yeah. I'm so hungry, but I need to take the picture, so I can't eat it yet. Take a picture. And then this guy over here ate the chicken and cheated as well. <laughs> and final dish is over here. So we're going to grab it. <laughs> but we're going to do a thumbnail, so like I'm going to freeze it there. And thumbnail. And now for dessert. We got a uh, apple, what's it called again? Um, apple pie. Apple pie. And then we got um, uh, double chocolate cake and ice cream. Cut the off tip. And then, yeah, so we're gonna dig in and enjoy. And yeah, so that was pretty much dinner. We had dinner and we are now. We all had a good chat. Chill, watch some funny videos, and um, now we're all tired. I'm gonna probably go to bed. So, as always, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.